Hello guys, welcome. This is Zubair Rata Qureshi and welcome to yet another lesson on my YouTube channel. And this lesson is regarding the FI, load balancer, right? And this is probably the lesson number four. And in my previous videos, I have shown you how you can create nodes, pools, and pool members, and how to create the health monitoring for pools, right? So what I'm planning to do this uh, in this video is we are going to create the virtual server and then we are going to demonstrate the uh, default uh, load balancing method that is the round robin, right? So I'll guide you how you can do this, okay? So basically, let me just explain what the virtual server is, okay? So virtual server, virtual server is basically uh, an object right it's an object but uh, what we do is we assign an IP to this object okay okay an object with IP address and what we do to with this is we attach the pool to this pool that we have like right? HTTP pool I think we have named that my HTTP pool something like that so this is what we do we assign this we create this virtual server assign an IP to that and then attach the pool to this we can do multiple things with virtual server for, but but for now this much is enough for you to know okay and then what happens is say we have a user on the internet right so he wants to browse to some website say so he'll go to that browser and say www.google.com so first thing what happens is you have a dns request right and what happens is with the dns request you go to the dns server and ask him who is www.google.com say okay? he gives you the ip address right and that ip address is basically a public ip right he gives you a public ip and then now uh, this machine sends the request and you uh, you receive the response from that server right basically that is the process right but in our case we have the fi and then we have three servers right and those are on private range of ip address right and which are not uh, reachable via the internet and so what we can do here on the fi this is one thing one way of doing this is you can assign this virtual server with a public ip okay with a public ip that is reachable on the internet so this um this ip will be representing this pool actually and pool will be attached to uh, i mean application right in our case is the http so that is what uh, the uh, this machine will be uh, going to i mean this virtual server ip not to directly to the uh, internal server IP side that is not reachable and that is not possible right so that is what the uh, virtual server does and one more thing it does is it uh, let me create, just remove this it automatically does the destination NAT for this okay so for, for example from this um, uh, machine uh, you go to this public IP right your source is your IP in our case it could be 120 and destination say i'll keep as 150 so let's go with 150 so when the server receives this i mean the i5 received this so this is intended for the fi right but fi knows that i am representing this 150 with the internal servers and those are in my case three of them one two three and then it will do the load balancing based on the option that we have selected and the default is a round robin so equal uh, amount of traffic would be sent to all the servers okay so that is one thing and and uh, basically uh, in the corporate network what will be done is you you will have the f5 here okay and then you have the servers right and then you have the servers and then what will happen is you will have a firewall here okay you will have a firewall here and then you would assign this virtual server an ip say a public ip not no sorry not a public ip but a private ip 
and then what will happen is this uh, firewall will be doing that for that private IP and it will be represented again as a public IP on the outside right so netting will be done here and again the traffic flow will be like that okay so that would be the I mean the designing part right how it will be done it, it, this FI will not be facing directly to the internet okay so that's said and done let's go and configure the uh, okay let me just close this and then I need to clear my canvas yeah okay so let's dive to the GUI that is my F5 here you need to create the virtual server you need to go to LTM you can see here you have the virtual server you need to go to the virtual server option go and uh, click on this create button here and you can name this server I can say my okay we have now one name v server http and description would be v server for http port fine uh, source address nothing but i need the destination address so this would be my 1.100.150 and i need a, a port for this that is you can assign the port or else or else you can just select from here and then in the configuration part you have these many options if you click on advance you will have a lot of options so for now i will keep this as default and the next thing that you need to do is attach the pool to this right so that option is right here okay default pool so I'll go here and and assign my HTTP pool here and click on finish that's it guys so let's wait for this to I mean be saved yeah now I have the virtual server here I can click and see the settings okay so I have this available um, as the color suggest screen that is good and the resources I have the pool inside I can see the statistics the bits and the packets and one more thing I want to show you is this network map this is just an amazing thing so you can see the virtual server and what pool is attached to that virtual server and inside the pool what all members you have right isn't that nice so you can go and click here and you will reach to the directly to the member right and one more thing if you go to your nodes and disable these nodes here all the pools that these servers are I mean attached to linked to right uh, will go down okay and while as while as if you go to pool and then you go inside and you see members and you disable here these servers will be disabled for this pool only okay so this is one nice thing to remember okay so that is this and, and so now that we have the virtual server and uh, also I can go to the pool statistics I think yeah ah, now I can see the traffic here also so uh, once we generate a traffic we will see the that's I mean I mean this is how we will um, confirm the type of load balancing that is being done right for now the first and the default is round robin so we should see equal amount of traffic traffic going to all the three servers that we have right so let's go to our um, dnx box that is this one let me open and see the uh, ip address on this should be 120 yeah nice and let me try to ping 1.100.150 that is the virtual server right should be pingable now yeah great news we have the uh, reachability to that ip address so now if i go to my browser and okay before doing that i need to do some certain things on my server first of all is i have enabled the uh, http services right uh, and also i need to create user username admin password is capital c i s t o one two three that is one thing and then again username admin i need to give them the privilege level of 50 so that is two things third is ip http authentication i need to do local okay that is three things and next i should have a route ip route i mean a default route right towards the towards my mm, uh, big ip right from the inside okay that's done i will do this right and same I have to do on the other servers 
so font 50 uh, username admin password mm, password capital c i c o one two three one two three again username admin privilege admin privilege is 15 nice and then i have to have the ip http authentication local i mean that means use the local database and then next would be my um, ip route ip route 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 um, 10 to 1 to 1 to 1 1 10 right and and write and let's do the same for my third server enable config t config t um, con t only <laughs> this time ip http authentication um, authentication local okay then i have the um, username admin password cisco123 uh right so that's done then you have the username uh the name admin and i will do the um, privilege level right that is 15 and then i have the ip route um, what is that ip route is 0 uh, a default route 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 1 10 okay and and right so now i should be good to go so let's go to my ht i mean the linux box and go to this one dot yeah i have that page there so it's asking me for the username and the password cisco one two three enter okay so this should now if i hit enter or refresh it should go to my server two nice and again if i do it should go to my server three no some issue okay let's check cisco one two three server two server one no server three if i go here and i refresh this to check the traffic so i can see equal amount of traffic going but server three is not responding so there, that means some issue with the server three configurations they type the password oh oh my god Hmm. So I can see that the password is wrong. I should go here. Username, admin, password, capital C I C O one two three only. That's it. Now let me try. Okay, let's just reset the counters. Yeah, right. Refresh this and let's go to this and do the. This is one, three. Nice two. So one, three. Two, one, three, two. So this is a load balancing or using route robot, right? I'm getting request one by one to all the. So, so if I refresh here, I should get an equal amount of traffic to all my source. Okay, nice. It's exactly the equal amount, right? You can see 29.9k, 29.9k, 29.9k. Mm, yeah, that is nice, and that's how you can create the virtual server, and then. Now uh, you can do the default load balancing that is round robin, right? So we have um, uh, configured and confirmed the uh, round robin method is the default one, and uh, we have created the virtual server, right? Right now, what's happening is the server, right? This F5, I mean, the F5 is acting as a proxy server, right? So from your this machine you are you're you are, you are going to that source as 120 and destination as 150 right and then this f5 is changing the destination address to one of the three right one by one one two one one three based on the load balancing that you have selected right so this is doing destination as well as then creating an another session from here to here so you have one session here and you have one session here from this to the server so yeah so this is how the uh, uh well, what do you say the virtual server is configured and it's doing the rob round robin by default so yeah stay connected with me guys because in the next videos uh, we will be 
basically uh, if i will show you if you go to tools here and then you can see the default oh, no not here if you go to tools members yeah here you can see the uh, load balancing model so we will be playing around with the other type of load balancing that we can uh, do on this okay uh, there are too many right we cannot test all of them but i'll try to test as many as possible so yeah so stay connected with me uh, in my future videos for now it's bye bye and please don't forget to subscribe if, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet and don't forget to like and share my videos right bye bye